This is the best car in GT7's newest update. Welcome back to Gran Turismo. There is something hot in the used car dealership. And so, of course, we're going to buy it. Yesterday, I mentioned in the new update for GT7 that launched yesterday, they added three cars. We actually only got to try two of them in yesterday's video. And that's because today, the cappuccino was added to the used car dealership. And it only costs 20 grand. I am so excited for this car. Quite frankly... Wait, no car, no life? How many? Is that about buying 100 cars, mate? Maybe. But this thing is stunning. I love the cappuccino. It's so sick. This is a cult class. You already know. Half of you are like, oh my goodness. Half of you are like, what the hell is this thing? Something that you guys may have missed. I definitely did miss it. If we check. Oh, wait, I've got a gift. It's my one star. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it done. One star on the roulette. Look at all this tiny money and a BRZ. It's going to be. What even is that? If five grand's low on the other one, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, so let's change to uh, BLZ. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. Right, let's have a listen to the cappuccino. Let's have a... It's so cute. Ooh. I'm actually excited. So a little bit of information about this car before we start. It's got 62 horsepower. It weighs what? Is it like 700 kg? Yes, yeah, 700 kg. Here we go. The Suzuki Cappuccino on the road for the first time. This thing is pure speed and power, as you can see. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's quite a bit. Why is there a bloody Ferrari? This is something that a lot of people love. And the particular reason as to why, well, it's just freaking cool. It's tiny. And we already know cars in Japan, cars in the Japanese market are generally small. When you compare them to, say, the American or European brands, they're generally small as is. And that's part of the reason I like uh, other than the GTR. It's not... Yeah, all right, let's not talk about that. Now, this is a K car. What is a K car? That's something I've never actually known. I genuinely just, I, th I knew it just meant small Japanese car. And that's about all that I thought it meant. <laughs> well, turns out that K car actually has a meaning. It's, it's useful. I did a little Google. And basically, all it means is that it was set up in a certain way so that tax and insurance was cheaper than a normal car, but it's still like a little sporty car. It's super sick, and I love that it exists. It's so awesome, and I wish other companies really thought, you know what? Let's give them, let's give people what they want. Cheap to insure, fun to drive, pull a little bit of a skiddy. <laughs> In my little K car. It looks, it, it's beautiful. It was probably cheap as well. I mean, it cost 20 grand. That's a lot of money for... But, but we're talking classic Japanese car. That's cheap by now, but today's standard. I have had a couple of little slides with this thing, and honestly, I want to do more. I want to give it more power, more speed. I want to give it an exhaust. I hear this thing a little bit louder. I, I, don't, I don't know what mods we're going to be able to do to it. I'm hoping there's like a wide body or something. But this is so much better than the BRZs, and I am so glad that we got it. Oh, God. That's not gone well. <laughs> so using the hydro is actually, uh, it's not great when you don't have the hydro upgrade. It's really like pull, fully pulling up the brake. <laughs> now, this could either be that it is very slow. It's like 69 horsepower. Or that it could be pretty cool setup to have a little bit of fun. If you just aggressively turn the step, okay, other than, you know, the understeer. Eventually, you will get this thing to do a nice little slide. It's just, it, it just kind of wants to. Oh, what are you doing? Look at the size of the slit. That's normally a tiny car. Do you know what this is? I've come to realize after my three laps that took like, it felt like this has been forever. Oh, it's only got 3,000 miles. That's right, it's used car. This thing is literally the Japanese Reliant Robin, except it has four wheels. It's the same thing. They were both built to be cheaper, to insure, and to drive. It's a... That's, that's what it is. It's a Reliant Robin. Except, you know, it stays on its wheel. What? They literally put me against a f***ing Corvette. What? <laughs> what? What planet? Who decides what cars they I should go up against? That is just stupid. I love this thing. I, I, I really do. It is time, ladies and gents, to do some upgrades. But you know what? Because I love this car so much, I'm genuinely going to buy another one. Like, <laughs> I'm buying two. 
Okay, the reason I'm buying two is I kind of would love to just keep one, especially for when it just disappears. Let's have a look at what else we've got. That is stunning. That is really, really stunning. I am very tempted by that. We have got an S2000. Again, super sick cars here today. I'm really, I'm really tempted by a lot of these. Right, back on track. Here we go. This has got a white body. You already know. I'm so ready. So it lowers the class. It lowers the BB. It makes the BB smaller. Uh, however, you know, it only had a small pp to begin with i very much imagine so <laughs> purchase the wide body let's have a look at how this thing is it's actually 62 horsepower i said it was 69 it's less than that however it now is wide and you think the thing is it's a wide body but it's not it's still small rwbrsr bin now we must get down to the potatoes and the meat let's jump in why do, why do we see meat and potatoes surely like the meat is the most important thing. The potatoes, they're like, they're just the... F right. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice little lip there. Very cool. I imagine uh, I can black that out as to one of the options. That would look super spicy. Of course, we can go for option B there. And also a diffuser. That kind of hides the exhaust a little bit. No, no, no. Not good. Type A, type B. Hey, is that a super? <laughs> I kind of want to go for that wang. And also the custom wang, which we can make very big as you can imagine that just looks stupid i kind of like it it almost reminds me of the mark ii mx5s but very odd like the the back end is the weirdest part of this car to look at for sure i don't know i feel like we're going with the super wing that is so good i'm so glad we went with that that looks good okay wheels is another thing we we'll us go for some bbs maybe <laughs> Oh, that looks stupid. That looks absolutely stupid. I love it. I'm doing it. We're going to go for wide and wide just to get that fitment right. That looks 14 inch, 17 inch BBS. What the hell? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the one we're going to ruin. I already told you we bought two for a reason. Okay. We got other customizations so we can fix those horrible yellow light bulbs and put uh, cool bulbs in there very cool and of course the number plate which uh, i kind of ooh, i kind of like it being on there to be honest let's remove it let's take it off no front plate can't do that stuff yet and uh we'll decide on a color after i think moving on to the i've already said that one um moving on to the gravy this though please sponsor me that would be very helpful there's the hydro handbrake we can install we've got nitrous of course we could you're joking me <laughs> We could put anti-lag on the cappuccino. Absolutely incredible scenes. We are going to go and throw on every mod that is possible. The manifold is getting upgraded. Yes, indeed. Suspension. We need to lower that boy. Race transmission. It's needed. Very cool. We can put racing softs on there. I almost don't want to. I'm going to buy racing hards. Just maybe we can have a little bit of a slide still. Brakes. It's going to be needed with all that power. Buy the anti-lag. Yes, please. I'm going to buy basically every upgrade for this car. High RPM turbocharger. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I need, baby. Let us begin with the wide body. Exhausted. Oh, what a noise. It, it makes a good noise. Here we go for the interior view. We're going to have that gearbox, everything wine. <laughs> it's like peaking the audio almost, but it's not. I'm looking at the, the levels and it's not actually peaking, but it sounds like it's peaking. That's really odd. What a machine. Now with the gearing, I didn't know quite what to put it to. I just kind of put it to... <laughs> what? I was not expecting that. <laughs> that. That really caught me off guard a little bit there. I've gone for the hard tires just so we can get a little bit... Of... They are still race tires nonetheless, but we've got a high spoolie turbo I, I almost don't even want to i don't even want to kick it the gears are a bit long but it actually looks really freaking cool I, I don't i don't know particularly if i would have normally ever said that when it was standard but it looks pretty freaking cool i still cannot slide properly with i'm gonna go controller see if i can do it we are on the hard tires which is but still obviously going to try and give us quite a bit of grip. But oh, it's different on control. A lot of people were saying in the previous video that they've definitely, like, modified. Come on. The gears are way too long. It's de they've, de they've modified how the cars kind of slide and they no longer snap as much. Which, uh, I definitely felt a difference with the BRZ yesterday. Come on. 
Power. There we go. Yeah, we definitely need to change those tires. <laughs> oh. Well, it, it sounds like... I, even, I, I can't even describe it. It almost... It just reminds me of like that, the, the genuine, normal Japanese JDM car noise that most of the bloody cars make as they hoon past your house. But it's got more... It's got, it's got a bit of Supra in there. Bit of 2J noises. I don't know. I, I, I think I like this more than the Miata. I'm sorry. I know it doesn't have to pop up. But I like it better than the other generations of the Miata. That's what I'm going to say to defend myself right there. It looks spicy. I like it. I don't know. Oh, I uh, just realized I can actually enter this Sakuba event right here. The last time I did it, I placed six. I don't know what the f what the freaking hell I was driving. There's not even a PP recommendation. Oh, there's a recommendation, but not a requirement. I'm going to put my racing softs on. I want to see what this thing is like. I didn't quite like the gearing as it was. It was super long. This was like the optimum that the car kind of suggested to me. But I'm just going to I'm gonna cheat code it down. I just want to see if it can properly beat the competition. And see what it actually puts up as, as up against this time. That makes more sense. I say that it doesn't make sense anymore. Because this thing is going to walk past you guys. You're what? Like all 450 something like that? I feel bad for you boobs. What? What's he talking about boobies for? What the freak? I didn't- I, I meant to call you a baboon, but like my- my, my brain kind of- Hang on, it says his name and it says his car. What the freak? Make your mind up, game. What the heck, man? Clean racing, baby. Ain't no sliding in this thing. It's gonna be <laughs> absolutely solid now. But what a machine this is. Oh! Watch yourself there. Buddy boy. I love as well the exhaust. It, it, it has like- it had before you could see the back box, it was kind of ugly and sticking out a little bit. Some people like that. I, 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 not me particularly. But I've also not tried to listen to the anti lag properly yet. We need, <laughs> we need to do that. But this boy about to be taken out. Come on. Still a little bit of skidding. How, what's the size difference with the BRZ? <laughs> He's so tiny. Power. Yeah. Oh, it's, it, oh, 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 God. Yeah, try and drift in the racing soft steel. That's... The best idea you have ever had. Quite frankly, I don't know why I have the idea myself. Now I do. Move! Thank you. Cut the grass a little. Oh! Cut the grass a little bit. I'm gonna get that first place, baby. Let's go, little Gengar. Let's go. Oh, he's just there. It's gonna be a, a walk in the park. But there needs to be a race. There needs to be a race between this, Reliant Robin, just kind of cars that were built to be a certain. I say that. A lot of cars are built to be reduced insurance class based. Like, realistically, the 2 plus 2 coupe thing, for example, no one ever will fit in the rear seats of my LC. Not even a bloody baby. But it has rear seats to reduce insurance. Uh, does this have rear seats? Does it actually? I never paid attention. I can't... I can't see! However, even if it does, will anyone fit in these? No. <laughs> that is, uh, there's definitely not rear seats in this. How... Sh uh, maybe seats don't matter in Japan. Having the rear seaties... <laughs> Don't matter what's up. Look at the flames. All right, I'm going to shut up. Whoa, I'm going to shut up and uh, listen to some. <laughs> I'm glad I picked this event now because it is nighttime and uh, those are blinding. And we can see the flames. <laughs> it's almost as big as the bloody car. Not a bad. Oh, 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 oh. Understeer. Into oversteer. Hold it like a genius. I know what I'm doing. The K car, win. The K car, I, I, I love this. Stuff the BRZs, don't even bother with them. This is what you want. Give me that miles, give me that monies. Yes, yes, yes. See, I'm having so much fun with this car. It's just, it is tiny, it is slow, and therefore, look at him go. <laughs> it's not slow, I tell a lab, sorry. Mate, it makes the MX-5 look big. How, how can a car make an MX-5 look big? What the flying hell is this car? Okay, now the front looks bigger. I'm so confused. What I was saying is I've done no miles <laughs> because it's just, there's just none of them. That makes more sense. What, GTAs, like why before did I have Ferraris and Corvette? I can never remember what tires people recommend. Comfort mediums, comfort softs, comfort sports hards. Uh, let's try sports hards and comfort mediums we've already got those i don't know if i've ever done the actual drift trial oh no i did the lc 500 so sports hard let's try sports hards first here we go pull a little skid baby 
and go for it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it just went straight into a slide there. What the hell? This thing just is ready and rearing. Here we go. Get those points, baby. I was going to say, where are my points? I couldn't see them. Shut up, I know my controller's low. Oh god. I need to install the hydro. I need to install the hydro. Come on. Come on. Spin those dumb wheels. It's better. It's better. I'm just going to sway a little bit. I'm going to try and hold second. I'm going to try and hold second. Come on. Hold it. No. I definitely need to install like the angle kit and the hydro. I could do lower skids though. I just, uh, my gears are too long still. Everything wrong with the car, nothing wrong with the driver. It's not me. It ain't on me. I'm a genius. I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to get a million score. Watch me. Shut up, I ain't done yet. Don't applaud me. Come on. Power. Down the straight. <laughs> Down the straight. Get the extra points. Yes. Where does this end? This is long. This is long, boy. It's corner. Come on! Yes! 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 No! It's the whole course. That's pretty cool. And across. <laughs> 20k. <laughs> Someone give this man an angle kit, please. Stunning car. Incredible. Check out the cappuccino. 20k. Be sure to smash like. Let me know what you think of this car. And until next time, peace.